What's up everybody? True Shot Reacts back today for another video and today we are checking out the brand new at the time of this recording Fit for a King Fit song a King. titled Locked in My Head. Now, I'm uh, you know, I'm part of uh, Ryan Kirby, the singer of Fit for a King, his Discord. So I saw that they were doing some uh, music video stuff and I wonder if that is for this song here. Uh, I know that this song has a lot of controversy surrounding it uh, to the point mm. where Ryan actually made a long post he did make a big it. post about it um so i'm guessing that we're gonna get a song that is um you know probably just still like the fit for a king flavor but i i i, I don't know i i i i'm very interested to see like what know, is man. the big deal here but um we're live on twitch right now guys we're gonna start recording these reactions every monday at around 8 30 ish eastern time on monday so head on over to twitch and follow us there so you can uh, stay up to date with us there, twitch.tv slash trueshotofficial. But in the meantime, All right, here we go. let's do it. Fit for a king. Locked in my head. Let's go. on the wall replaying every story reality got lost in the fear waiting for me if all I know is that we're still if I close my eyes will it set me free locked in my head I like it. I like it. Loving it. It's funny, we were just talking about chugs. We were. Okay. All right. Some fit for a king locked in my head. All right, man. Would you? Uh, Would you think? So I read a couple of things. I did read his post prior to. Right. Uh, I can see why he wrote it now, but I, I think like some of his comments was people were saying he phoned that in. Do you think it's because lyrical content or the song was just the way it was? I mean, it's. I love the song, by the way. The way it was is built. Because it, it's uh, that typical metalcore, you yeah, know, yeah, recipe. Very, it had, yeah, it had that, it had that structure. I, I, right. I, 
I'm trying to, I'm trying, because I don't think it was phoned in, but I'm trying to think of why somebody would say that. And I don't know if it's maybe just the vote. Maybe they're basing it off of just the vocal performance in itself. I mean, because it. He kind of had, you know, the, he he stayed kind of in a pocket tone wise. I, so I don't care about that. No, shit, not at man. all. I mean, but I'm saying I, that's if it sounds good, why. I'm all about it. No, exactly. But I'm saying that I'm trying to put myself in the in the point of view of somebody who's saying it was phoned in. Okay, and maybe that's what they were coming at. To me, guys, I think that this is a, a great example of a song that obviously locked in my head. I, you know, I, and you saw his post; it's, it's talking about anxiety, anxiety and, and whatnot. And I I think that. The, the vocal delivery of it, of this song, is meant to kind of reflect that. Because sometimes, you know, you can't have a song that's about a subject and make it just... It's all about the feel of the song. So, I mean, yeah. if you were to write about... Like, we have a lot of discussions about that. Yeah, it, it, like, if you were to write a song that's, you know, a sad song, right? Like, you can't do one that's, like, balls to the walls heavy. It just doesn't... It just doesn't... It just doesn't fit the same, like... Uh, it just doesn't fit. It's the feel, you know? the feel. It's all about right. feel. Exactly. Telling the story. Uh, I like that they started it off actually with Tuck uh, doing some cleans because uh, I know that he's in a project as well, off-road minivan. And um, I'm, I, I, that was cool that they started with that. I thought that even for this style of song where it wasn't, you know, any harsh vocal or, you know, whatever you want to call it. Um, there wasn't any screaming in that. I guess none, I didn't even pick up on that. None, zero. Yeah, so, that just tells had, you I enjoyed it because I didn't even... Right, but they still had the the chugs and that 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 like that double bass. Dude, wait, that, that, just, that switched that up the in. whole song. That yeah. like just picked it up another level, right? So you were you were like, okay, it's good. Whoa, it just kind of brought you up right. to another level. Right, and the, I think the thing is too is that these guys are pretty you know far along in their careers to the point where you know if they want to throw in an accessible song or two on a record. Then so be it. You know, I think this is a very accessible song. Like I could see that song as. Like I don't a, understand what the problem. Why people? Ha I don't. See that I don't either. I, I think that this is a, like a song that you could like if you're trying to get somebody into a metal or a metalcore type of genre. That you yeah. Could, you could start there or like you know in because like you know everybody getting into metal you start at a certain point. You know, like for me it was like. Three Days Grace and Lincoln Park and Avenged Sevenfold and then Lamb of God and then. As they lay dying, and then it just it just keeps going and going. Yeah. So I think that that's the kind of song there that could that could totally uh, that could totally do that. Um, but I I dug it. I mean straight up. Like I I thought it was a cool song, catchy song, very anthemic. Um, that whoa, you know that, that that could get that's a that's a crowd pleaser. Pleaser. Right there. Yeah, get them engaged. Um, exactly. So I dug I it. I like it. I like it. But uh, you got anything else to say, man? Before you head out of here. Screw the haters, man. Yeah. It was a great Ryan, song. Ryan, if you're watching this, man, and actually, you know, I'm going to post this in his Discord. Ryan, if you're watching this, man, screw those people. Keep doing you, and I can't wait to hear the rest of the record. Ready for it, uh, my man. I know, I know you're going to still keep it heavy. I'm not worried about that. That so was I'm a heavy song. It. it was just a heavy ballad, dude. I'm look, But I, I, I'm looking forward to, I know they're going to have some, like, shattered glass or backbreaker style heavy songs, and I cool. look forward to that. But anyways, till next get out time, of guys, here. make sure you hit the like button, you subscribe, turn on the notification bell, so you know if I release new videos here on the channel. And also, comment down below, tell us what you thought of Fit for a King and their song, Locked in My Head. And also... Make sure you follow us on all of our social media accounts at True Shop Band. As we said at the top of this reaction, we're live on Twitch currently right now. So you can also join us. We film these reactions in bulk yes. on Monday nights, 8.30-ish Eastern time. We'll always let you guys know. We'll post a video saying we're going live. And also make sure you check out our music. We're a band called True Shot. Spotify, Apple Music, wherever you listen to music. And until the next one, peace. peace. Maybe I met you.